Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, yeah, we, we got her out of bed to do a couple videos. I am, and then I'm going to go back to bed. And she's going to go back <laughs> so. to bed. So she might only be in a couple videos today, guys, but we're going to talk about this one. Kind of a big one, maybe. Maybe. Now, it, it still is a rumor that they're going to reboot Harry Potter as a series on HBO Max. And the thing is, is that everybody's talking about this like it's some shocking thing. They, right? I've said this before too. It's not a new rumor. They have been talking about this. Let's see, 2021, Daniel Radcliffe said that he thought they would reboot Harry Potter. Going back to- I would say it went back to 2018. 2018, there, there was word that they were gonna reboot. This is before uh, they started HBO Max. They were gonna reboot Harry Potter as a Netflix series. Right. So this, this has is been not going a new for rumor. a long time. We keep seeing people like, oh my gosh, new rumor exclusive. And it's like, but it's not a new rumor. It's been around for quite a while. And uh, just a disclaimer, they're, they're saying that this might not be the case either. Um, it is a rumor that uh, HBO, Warner Brothers is gonna announce a Harry Potter I, series. I think that it's more likely to be true because Zaslav has made comments during their investor calls that they want, he wanted something like this to happen. Yeah, and this isn't unprecedented. People were like, why would they reboot the movies as a series? Well, one, brand recognition. Mm -hmm. And two, the movies cut a lot out from the books. Mm -hmm. uh, and three, they can recast the leads who threw J.K. Rowling under the bus. And they can make them more diverse. They can, oh, I, I, I can, guarantee you. <laughs> I can guarantee you Hermione's gonna be black because she's black in the, the play. Right. I can almost get, almost, almost guarantee you Hermione's gonna be black. No, come on, we know it's gonna be Ron. I mean, he's, he's the ginger. obvious one. <laughs> They're basically the same thing. Gingers and black people, the same thing. I mean, S don't you know? But I think this, in some ways, might actually be like JK's revenge. Because, um, look, uh, the three leads of the Harry Potter movies were so ass mad about her comments on Twitter. Can I say ass mad? They were oh, ass sure. mad. I say worse. Uh, but her, whatever you want to call it. And um, the she didn't even do the 20th anniversary special because, you know, everybody was gunning for her. So, and we've got uh, Emma Watson out there dunking on her, Jane Radcliffe dunking on her. I don't know where Rupert Grint's at. I mean, he hasn't really, I don't think he's really said too much, but Dana Radcliffe and Emma Watson definitely threw her under the bus. Mm -hmm. Now they get replaced. Possibly. Well, and, and the thing is, you know, with, with Hogwarts Legacy doing so well, you know, I mean, there's always the option they might go somewhere down that road, too, which has been a rumor, too. They might go down something like, you know, uh, one of the games are different timeline or something. But, you know, it's been so popular. They're going to double down on it. Yeah. So, I mean, I did a video yesterday talking about how the Atlantic is even admitting that the boycott, the Hogwarts Legacy boycott, uh, had the opposite effect. It actually made, yeah, the game, shocker. made the game more popular. And the reason that they're announcing this, and, and this is, uh, people are like, nobody wants this. Why would you do it? And they're like, yeah, Hogwarts Legacy. That's that's why. Uh, yes. Um, and, you know, I thought maybe they'd do a Hogwarts Legacy series. But it is, like you said, it's possible if they're doing a series. And again, they're, they're talking doing seven years of Harry Potter and setting each one during a school year that they can add in a lot more background details. Yeah, they, they cut a lot out of the books. You know, um, Harry's parents and Snape, that whole history they can get into. Right. And the thing is, people that are mad about it, who wants this, you know, so like that, you know, the one, the ones that are like of the 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 activist mindset that are mad about stuff because of J.K. Rowling. Yeah. Well, if they put make it diverse, you can't say jack shit, can you? Oh, they will. That, no, I'm saying they, that that's what they you know, they they can't because then they they are a bigot. How I, how are you going to handle that one? I feel. Welcome to our side. <laughs> I, there are sides. I didn't know there were sides. No, but I'm like I thought we get treated all oh, the time. Yeah. You're just a bunch of bigots. I, I feel very bad for whoever is cast in the show because I guarantee you Twitter is going to be like, how dare you? How dare you give that transphobe more money? And they're going to be kids. They're going to be like, you know, 10, 11 year old yeah, kids. Yeah, they'll harass the kids because these people are psychotic. If it's true. So let's talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Uh, we've been following the Hogwarts legacy situation. Uh, we'd love to have you join us. You can give a woo woohoo oh, for I'm that. I'm sorry. Woohoo! Woohoo! Woohoo I'm, for I'm, that. I'm, I'm a little bit slow today. Uh, so, got to give a hat tip to uh, John Selp on Pirates and Princesses, who Go, John. covered it for us. And uh, of course, there's a lot of there's a lot of money to be made off of Harry Potter and Wizarding World stuff now, and Hogwarts Legacy has definitely. 
uh, reinvigorated the franchise. I mean, a lot of people thought it was dying because of Fantastic Beasts not doing well. Obviously, people want, you know, uh, Harry Potter stories and, and wizarding stories that take place yeah. in Hogwarts. Yeah, that's what they want. I mean, you Fantastic know? Beasts was so removed, people just weren't too into it. So, yeah, they're saying that they think this leak is coming a, a couple of weeks ahead of some hoedown that they're going to have. Um, they said it's going to be directly based on the best-selling book series. It's not going to involve Fantastic Beasts. Uh, most sources indicate the talks are between Warner Brothers Discovery and J.K. Rowling's group. They're preliminary. The studio is looking to house the series under a streaming banner, HBO Max, soon to be combined with Discovery+. Plus. They're saying they might keep them separate. I don't know what's happening with that. Um, they said they're trying to secure the ability to create a Harry Potter television series. They said that they gained momentum in early 2021. Yeah, in momentum, but it's been announced since like 2018. 2018. Yeah, they've been, the rumors have been going around, I guess, what I'm trying to say. Now, I know that she, I think she said before that, I mean, she thought the movies were okay and she did have a hand in, you know, the screenplay and she worked with them pretty closely, but there there was a lot of stuff they cut out. They did cut out a lot. As someone who read all the books, they've cut out quite a bit. Yeah, especially... You know, as the series progresses, there's oh. a lot of stuff that gets cut. The books progressively got larger. That's why we all saw movies split in two and stuff yeah. like that. And some of the movies should have been split in two. And it was just a lot of content to combine and, and, and special effects and different things to put down this tiny little movie. So a series, you know, would give them a lot more, to, you know, room to work. Right. And here's the thing. Like right now, uh, Warner Brothers stock is not doing so hot. A lot of people have a lot of questions about the future of Warner Brothers. And for them to come out and say, hey, guys, hot on the heels of Hogwarts Legacy, you know, breaking all kinds of records. We're going to we're going to revamp and reboot Harry Potter. And we've, we're going to have a Harry Potter show for seven years, you know, and, and we're going to go back to that. Well, and then we're going to maybe spin that show off into other stuff. Yeah, the thing is, they have the material out there. They could just spin off into something else, like his parents or, you know, a different, like, years of Hogwarts, like with Hogwarts Legacy. They don't need to do this, but they're going to. They want to. Yeah, so people said that um, this might actually be, this might just be a rumor and it might just be kind of a, a red herring, too. Uh, we're not going to know until it's actually announced now. Now, it's going to be kind of weird, though. Because the, it's been a, the rumor's been around for quite a while. It's been though. around a long time. And I found that usually when rumors this has stood around this long, there's usually some basis for it. Well, they have to get her to agree to it. But I think if they told her, hey, you get final creative control over this, um, you get to pick the cast, you get to you know tweak the script, add stuff in you want to, and most importantly, you get to erase the kids. Why well, don't it erase the kids but piss <laughs> off the, the screamers? Piss off piss the screamers. Piss off the banshees. You know, I think that that might get her more than anything else. I think she would do it just out of spite, I think, at this point. Because we've seen that, you know, she's taking the Twitter and, and she, she, she's... Unless she's just tired of their shit and doesn't want to do it anymore. I mean... I'm me being me. I would do it out of spite, <laughs> but that's just me. Actually, not so much as you would, but uh, you would totally do it out of spite. Um, yeah. So I, I, because that's the thing. Like she's gonna make more money off of this than she's gonna make off of Hogwarts Legacy, if true. This gives Universal fuel for more attractions. It is gonna be kind of weird though, because are they gonna have the same budget for a Harry Potter show that they had for the movies? Is it gonna look budget cut? Compared to the movies. Now, this is the first time HBO has done this. Um, I'm actually a huge fan of His Dark Materials. Mm -hmm. And Phil Pullman actually had some very unkind things to say about J.K. Rowling. But they did the Golden Compass and it was meh. And then HBO went back and they, they did the trilogy and they actually stuck pretty close to the books. That being said, you can tell that the budget was less mm -hmm. for the show than it was for the movie. But yeah, I wasn't a fan of the movie. I was like, eh, whatever. No, the movie, they got so much wrong. Um, the show was actually very, very good. They got pretty much everything in the books in there, but it did feel like, yeah, the budget's not quite where the movie was. And that's why I'd kind of be worried about if they did a Harry Potter, like, you know, is it going to look as good as the movies? And I can't imagine. I mean, some of those roles are, uh, you know, so iconic, uh, you know, Alan Rickman. Like, I can't, I can't imagine anybody else playing Snape. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's a valid you know, point. Um, the, the trio, you can just, yeah, they got lucky, basically. You know, they just kind of like, like plucked these kids off the street and said, yeah, close enough. Um, but as far as, you know, the, some of the teachers, I'm like, yeah, I can't, I can't see anybody else doing it. But who knows? They recast everybody now. I mean, how many times have they recast freaking Spock in Star Trek? That's true. You know, and, it is what it is. It's it's IP. 
And uh, I, I totally can see him doing it. But yeah, this would, I mean, you think Hogwarts Legacy drama was bad. Can you imagine if they were like, yes, we're going to make new Harry Potter TV for the next seven years. And if that goes well. But done by Zaslav and Raleigh. Yes. And then we'll just, uh, we'll just run with it. So Harry Potter is not going away anytime soon. And she's got a new book coming out, I guess, with Scholastic. Again, why aren't these people protesting Scholastic, protesting Warner Brothers, protesting Lego, mm -hmm. protesting Universal? They just honed in on that game. Right. And, you know, the Atlantic article actually summed it up nicely. They said that video game journalists live in a Twitter bubble and they don't understand that, you know, the rest of the world just keeps on keeping on without them, you know, and it's not going to matter. But uh, I don't know, guys. There it is. Not a new rumor, but I think we're getting close to something. Yeah. Something like when you hear a rumor go around this long, it, sometimes it comes true. Like like uh, Princess and the Frog refame of Splash Mountain. Rumor was long standing, been around for years and there it be, you know. Yeah. So here we got people that are pissed off that they're even going to go there. Um, this is coming from Clutch Points. Not going to lie. If I were to make a list of ways to piss off Harry Potter fans, a reboot. Now, here's the thing, though. This is going to set the precedent for rebooting movies that people thought were completely untouchable, like Star Wars. Well, this is going to bring up Star Wars. I'm like, yeah, the, don't, don't you touch our Harry Potter, but it's completely fine to bastardize your Star Wars. Yeah. You know, that's just it. I love these these, these, you know, these groups. Like, we had it with um, Kim Possible. Mm. Like, they were like, don't you touch my Kim Possible, but it was completely fine to, like, you know, uproot everything else. And the comments they were making were similar to the comments star, old-time Star Wars fans are making. And they were like, you know, there was no sympathy for you, but you're supposed to have all kinds of sympathy for that. So it's like, well, you know what? It sucks. So J.K. Rowling, according to Discussing Film, J.K. Rowling will be involved in the Harry Potter remake for HBO so she can ensure it remains loyal to her original material. She's not going to be the showrunner, though. That doesn't matter. She's touching it. She's getting her... Her well, transphobic her no cooties all over. Even if you take her name off the book and put your own cover on it, still hers. This Harry Potter fan used a direct quote from the movie to express disgust. I can't believe this. The franchise is perfect. Why reboot is nothing sacred now? Uh, Why reboot is nothing sacred? You, you sit and spin. That, I mean... Why reboot she -Ra? Why reboot, you know, all the stuff you guys keep rebooting and pissing on and ruining. And then you, then you yell at people who don't like it. So one of these ladies are going to be Hermione. No, that's actually, those are other, any guesses as to who. That's, this is uh, other articles. Yeah, I, um, I think it's funny. I think it's funny to, to have something that was kind of a sacred cow to a lot of people complaining now about it. Uh, right, because you said, so it comes for stuff you love next. Yeah. It was fine when it was something you didn't care about. It is just product. Was, yeah, when it was She-Ra or something like that, you know, or Thundercats or all those things, you know, oh, get over it. Yep. But now, don't you touch my Harry Potter. Well, I, they're going to finger finger Harry all up. Um, I'm sure they'd like that movie. They'd be fine with that. Oh, my God. Harry and Ron, we need to ship them. Don't come with you. All right. Anyway, we're going to wrap this up. Ron's an asshole, so I don't think anybody would Ron is an asshole. I mean, he's Was just, he that bad? I, see, I never read the books. You read he the was books. kind of a jerk in the books, too, but, you know. He's like jealous... Bitch. I don't know. The last one, especially, it's been a really, like, really unlikable. I mean, he got really unlikable as it went, but he was kind of like a, je yeah, jealous little twit sometimes. Ron was like a catty girl. Bitch. Yeah, he was. He was like a girl. It was like Harry's, oh my God, so that's where it's going to come from. Like, Ron secretly had feelings for Harry. And, um, yeah. Oh, you know what? Oh, you would be a coup? Because she said before that she thought that uh, she Harry. She should have put Harry with Hermione. Yeah. What if she? What if she? Did, what if she flips that? That'd be funny. You no, know, I called it like second movie. I said they're gonna put his sister with Harry. I, did I not? I called it second movie. I said they're gonna put they're gonna put the Ginny with Harry. And you were like, and you're like, no. <laughs> I called it. Isn't that kind of creepy though? It is, but I knew that was what they were setting up. It was obvious that's what they were setting up, and I was like, this is obvious. It's, that's who he's gonna end up with. It's like I love you, Ron, but like a brother. So I'm just gonna bang your sister. Keep it in the family. I don't know. That's kind of weird. We gotta wrap it up. Mm -hmm. uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.